The Australian Open is the hallmark of the nation's summer of sport, but more heat and smoke could mean that January is out of bounds for the beloved Grand Slam. It's long. Climate change and extreme heat are already having an impact on the Australian Open. Monash University climate scientists commissioned by the Australian Conservation Foundation have found that days of extreme heat become more frequent, meaning the Open's heat policy would be enacted more often, regularly disrupting the tournament. One of these options would be to extend the length of the event by perhaps a week. Another option would be to move the event itself to either March or November. The report highlights how in the 115 years the event has been running, there's been a significant increase in average daytime temperatures. In 2009, the heat reached 45 degrees and play was suspended on consecutive days. In 2014, more than four days were over 41, nine players withdrew and over 1,000 attendees were treated for heat stress. Two years ago, the court temperature reached almost 70 degrees. Australian Open organisers didn't respond to requests for comment today, but have previously acknowledged the effects of climate change and have said that changing the date of this tournament is an ongoing conversation. The report also says environmental changes are affecting tennis at a grassroots level. In Bendigo, Tennis Club Secretary Adil Shamshala says more local competitions are being cancelled. Heat is one issue, but very clearly a second issue is smoke. If we're going to be thinking about protecting um, tennis and other sports in the future, uh, you know, sporting organisations like Tennis Australia have um, a really key role. A call for the Games organisers to get on the front foot. Elias Clore, ABC News, Melbourne.